just had breakfast. It's not really time for that right now, buddy. But you're real cute. before bed last night and it was the second time I'd run it that day so I'm trying to maybe I'm trying to I'm gonna try run twice a day now um, I still can't believe how much like dust and hair it picked up look at look at that I think it's mainly dust because we live um, in an urban area so there are a lot of cars going by all the time and stuff that's like kicking up dust so if you live in an urban area uh, there is a lot of dust. <laughs> like, every day I'm dusting stuff up. Clover is really into his mouse right now. <laughs> um, but, yeah, I think maybe twice a day is, is a winning strategy for the Roomba, because it's, there's significantly less dust in here this morning on the floor, and, um, I'm, I'm happy. But I thought I would share that with you. Why? I don't know. It's 7.30 in the morning, and I woke up really late. I usually wake up at 6, but 7.30 this morning, and um, that's that's late. That's a late start. I'm not even really sure if I want to put up yesterday's like bread vlog because it wasn't even really good. Uh, the bread is here. The bread. I was killing it out the dishwasher. The bread. The bread is here, right? Um, and I put one of those bread things in there to keep it fresh. Um, so I think. I mean, the bread was. It was good. I ate a lot of it yesterday. He's really. He's really persistent, you guys. You don't even know. Like. It, I, I, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna. Do, I'm gonna do a little experiment. I'm gonna move to a different location. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. We're gonna go to the bathroom. We're gonna go in the bathroom. Let's see. Oh. play with you in a little bit, okay? I know you want to play real bad, but I'll play, I'll play with you. <laughs> I'll play with you in a little bit. Anyway, just have a small task for today. Just trying to just trying to straighten out uh, the hall closet a little bit. I still have um, a bunch of coats that I need to put away for the holiday uh, the holiday season. No, for the winter season. I've done some rearranging of this stuff up here just so I have space to put toilet paper and paper towels. Um, the light came on. That's nice. Um, but I think it could look a little better, so I'm gonna rearrange that this morning um, after I've had my coffee and played with this one, of course. Right? Right? Get your mouse. Move your mouse out of the way. Move it. Here, grab it. Can you grab it? Thank you. He's given up and he's a cat. Um, I pretty much have a problem with The Sims right now. <laughs> I can't stop playing. Uh, this is Charlotte. She's like my favorite character to play right now. Um, 
because she's rich and she, well, she won the lottery, first of all, and because she's trying to become famous. So that's really fun. I like the whole get famous thing. I didn't think that I would like it very much, but get famous is actually really fun. Wow, doing some exercise. Let's see. Oh, that's right. I was playing last night and I was trying to do all these things in preparation for her little gig, but practice dramatic scenes, that's not even available. I feel like this is bugged a little bit. So, um, yeah. But anyway, this is Charlotte. She's my, I guess, Sim self grandchild. Oh, she's tense. Why, why are you tense? Oh, crawling in my skin. No touching quirk. She's got like a famous person's quirk. She likes to eat only good meals and she doesn't like anybody to touch her. I think that's hilarious. I need to take away that quirk somehow. How can you do that? Anyway, I need to publish to my Sims channel. I haven't done that for months. Um, but I'm having too much fun playing. Okay, I just learned from Carl's Sims guy that she can't practice dramatic scene until she's acting level 10. She's only acting level seven. So I'm having her practice all day till she gets to level 10. All right, we're going out to the park for a little play time, but look, look how cute he looks in his coat. It is 25 degrees outside, so it is high time for him to wear a coat, but oh my God, adorable. You look so cute, Clover, I can't stand it. Okay, we're back. It is certainly cold outside, but we had a lot of fun. And uh, I got some packages. It may seem like I'm getting a lot of packages, but it's because that big order I placed from Anthropology, I'm getting in like various shipments because I placed like a big order, but they'll send like one thing and then they'll send like another thing and they'll send like another thing. So, and I got something from Sephora too because it was the like save 25 on like 50 sales so I like bought a little splurge that I like shouldn't even get but I'll show you guys anyway um but before I do that I'm gonna get to uh the coat closet it's actually not that bad I'm gonna neaten up a few things and um these are dresses that I have to put on Poshmark uh they're in here for now just hanging out uh, but that's definitely something I have to get to probably not today probably tomorrow um just because let's pays ourselves um but I'm gonna put some winter uh sorry some spring coats like this guy I'll probably not wear again until spring and like maybe like this guy and like this guy can go in the seasonal box in my closet and I just want to take the time to straighten out a few things up there uh because we got a situation so uh that's something I'm gonna be doing and also I'm gonna I want to get a place for Clover can put some of his backup toys so that it's not so crazy. He's like actually looking for balls in there. Dude, we played ball for an hour and a half. You're all set, okay? The door, the back of the door thing is actually not that bad. Um, I am doing an experiment. I'm just gonna pare down on these this winter and see if like it's cool if I just have this stuff and if not, I'll, I'll add some extra things in here but if it's cool I'll get rid of the rest of the scarf action um, which is in another room and I'm just gonna straighten up this little cleaning area and uh, oh I gotta put this um, wait something in here no 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 I gotta put this up there there's a little plastic bag holder that's like way up there so I've got um, a few things to do but not that bad not that bad not that bad at all and I gotta see if I can find another home for this this is the um, this is the wrapping paper so I don't like it there. So I'm gonna try and find another home for it. Experiments, experiments.
Okay, I'm done and I feel a lot better about what's going on in here. So uh, not much has changed. I just straightened out what's going on on the door. Put some shopping bags here on the door. These are the ones my husband likes to use. So I'm just gonna leave them there so he knows they're there. Um, along with, cause this basket was never filled up in the first place. There were just a couple of umbrellas in here. Um, so that's that and a poncho. <laughs> umbrellas and a poncho, which I don't know if anyone's gonna use ever. Um, but straightened out that little like vacuum and uh, mop nonsense. Got my little uh, thing down here going, and uh, this didn't need much straightening up either, but I managed to take all of my spring and autumn coats out, and now it's all wintertime coats only, so that's sad. <laughs> I love the sound of these hangers, by the way. I'm, like, obsessed. <laughs> anyway, I'll stop them for the video so you guys don't have to listen to that the whole time, or maybe you do. Nothing on the side has changed at all. I still have the hooks there for the chuck it and for the duster and for the big under... Uh, appliance duster and the dust mop <laughs> and what else is here oh the broom yes which I hardly ever use anymore actually uh, I probably should get rid of the broom because I just I never use the broom anymore never I haven't used it for months wow I should get rid of the broom who wants a broom anyway straighten out the upper shelf so the top is preserved for extra paper towels my husband buys the big huge packs and I just can't deal with not having any place to put them, so I dedicated shelf space, especially for them, and for the toilet paper. So now, now we can buy the big giant packs of toilet paper, like the Costco brand, like sized, and have a place to put them. Yes. So dedicated shelf space for that. And I put a little box with Clover seasonal stuff. I was like, I have a seasonal box. Why doesn't Clover? So I yeah, just put his summer stuff up there, like his cooling um, vests and cooling coats, um, the, all of the, his travel water bottles, um, clippers, only stuff that he uses every now and again, and seasonal stuff. There's only stuff that he uses in summertime, so that's up there, and I'm like, why didn't I think of that earlier? Duh. <laughs> Got the toolbox here. Since I use that pretty often, I want to make sure that I can reach it. The rest of the stuff that's up there, I don't use a lot at all. Oh, the hangers again. We got the plastic bags, which I use occasionally, and that's the little thing that goes on the uh, on the cords on the floor. <laughs> um, my drill is up there, some batteries, and the extra Bona floor cleaner is up there, and that's it. So I'm loving I'm loving how minimal this is getting. I'm really trying to streamline. I know it's really hard. It's hard for me because I like to have stuff but I'm really trying to pare down the amount of stuff that's in here because it's just getting a little crazy. So I found another home for the wrapping and I'm just decided that I'm gonna keep these boots. These are the brand new boots I just got from Anthro and I'm gonna actually um, give these away. These are from Aldo and they're still pretty good. So somebody else can probably get a few good years out of these left. So uh, I'm gonna say goodbye to these. And I also have a little space for my yoga mat there. Sometimes I take that downstairs um, and do some yoga there. And I, I sort of cleaned up this area as well. This is Clover's like ball launcher thing. And I took some stuff out of his um, grooming box because it was like only the occasional stuff. So now I can fit everything in here and he's got his little water bottle. I reach for that pretty much every day so I'm gonna keep it right front and center. Um, I actually have to go and just clean it before I stick that back in here but I do reach for that every day so I reach for that and then I go for the chuck it and we go to the park. So that needs to stay up close and center. Um, these drawers I didn't touch. These are like utility drawers and stuff. This has all of my like pet monitoring things in here and extra cords. Um, I use an app called Pet Monitor when I'm not home to watch Clover. I think it costs maybe four or five dollars. It's really awesome. If you have an extra Apple device, this is like my old iPad mini and my old iPhone, you can set them up as cameras and keep track of your pet. It's really cool. <laughs> um, this is my husband's business so I don't touch that. But this is Clover, little Clover Beans uh, <laughs> drawer and I've sort of changed it a little bit. So this is much better. So he's got his little container full of balls, which is one of his favorite things in the world. I, I like let him pick one if we want to play inside and he's like so excited. Uh, this is his little Frisbee. This is the little um, thing I use in the sink when I give him a bath so that his hair doesn't go down the sink. Um, excuse me, excuse me. And this is towels I use to dry him. Um, I don't blow dry him anymore, I just let him air dry so I got a huge towel for him and a little towel for um, some of the smaller spots. So I actually use both towels when I wash him. It's kind of an ordeal because he's got really long hair. And one of you suggested in my other video, 
<laughs> in a previous video that I rotate out his toys and I actually do suggest this with uh, my children not, not children, but my clients who have children is to um, rotate toys so that they don't get overstimulated and that there's new toys all the time. It's like Christmas every time they open the, the a new toy bin. So I'm going to do, and she suggested that I do the same thing with Clover. Thank you so much for suggesting that. I was like totally went out thinking of it. Um, so he, this is his rotated out toy collection. As you can see, he's very spoiled and has a lot of toys. He does have birthday parties and people bring him toys too, so like this is one of his birthday party toys. He loves them all. He loves them all, but this is his extra rotated out toys. I'm sorry, torturing you. So Nick, this is now his current toy collection. He's got, this is like his favorites. Like he's got his giraffe, he's got his french fries, his little cow. He's got, his, this is Mike, his, probably his like eighth lamb chop that he's gone through. These don't last long, but he loves them. Um, he stole this from one of Sarah's dogs. Uh, his avocado, taco. This is like a Christmas uh, little guy that he picked out from the store when he was like five months old. I'll insert a picture here of him um, with this. It was so funny. I asked him to pick out a toy and he picked this guy out and it was almost as big as he was and he carried it all around the store. It was so cute. He loves it. The squeakers are broken but he still really likes it. This is his lion. Eve bought him this and he loves it. Um, oh, he's got his little Christmas mushroom from last year. Although it looks like he might be towards the end of his life. Um, he's got a little hedgehog that he loves. A tiny pizza and the mouse that he is obsessed with. So I'm feeling like I got that done. I can chill and now let's see what came from anthropology. I don't know what's in this box. I mean, my order was big. You guys saw what was in the first like couple boxes. I actually got another box since then and there, I'll show you what was in that one. In the other box was this um, little planter guy. <laughs> I, want, I thought he was so cute. It actually came broken, but I fixed one of the legs, see it, with super glue. But I wanted to actually transport out like this little guy and put him in here and maybe this one too, because um, this is so ugly but um, I'm gonna have to look into how much space they need. I think I can only do this guy. So um, we'll do that very soon. I gotta go to the plant store and get some, get a, a pot to put in here because uh, it's not gonna fit. And I got this little guy for my headphones. How adorable is this little headphone container? Yes. So I still have wired headphones for um, my phone and my computer when I travel. And I have, I, I wanted to separate the ones that had the lightning cable or the lightning ad adapter and the ones that had like the normal eighth inch jack, like these guys. So for that one, I'll use this one. Um, but for that one, for the other ones, I'll use this one. So I'll know. I know that's a little extra, but I, I have got a lot of technology. So let's see what's in this anthro box. I was surprised to see it outside. Um, I wasn't really expecting it. Oh, there's another. <gasps> Ooh, I'm very excited. One thing is inside. I thought this wasn't going to ship until like next week they they lie to you about when things are coming because i was not expecting this to come until next week um i've got a little project that i'm working on and this is part of the project look at this cool flippin cocktail shaker isn't this cool i am so excited to have this my cocktail shaker uh is not working like they um the little gasket that goes around this portion of it is broken. So I have like a legit cocktail shaker. This is awesome. I'm kind of obsessed. It's got little gold flecks. I don't know if you can see, but it's got little gold flecks in the glass. Um, this is beautiful and I can't wait to use it. All right, Sephora orders here. So this is one of the Mothership Sublime palettes in Bronze Ambition. Let's open her and see what she looks like. It's basic. It's really, it's really basic. <laughs> but you know what? Treat yourself. And I'm excited to use this palette. It's so pretty. Wow. Don't need it. Got it anyway. And I got a little... Wow. Ooh, I wasn't expecting that. The packaging on this is all fuzzy. Look. It's a Bobbi Brown like mini shimmer brick. Oh my gosh. It's so cute. Uh, so let's take a look at the color. Yes, it's like little bronze. And I love that it's so little, so I'm gonna travel with this because I've been traveling more and more and I wanna make sure that I can fit my um, little highlighter in. So I'm very happy about this little guy. I got a couple samples. I got a Jo Malone Honeysuckle and Davana Cologne. Let's smell her. I really like that. I gotta try it on my skin. Oh, that's really pretty. All right. And oh, they sent me La, La Vie Belle. 
I think I, or I ordered something else, but I guess they didn't have it in stock. So I got another perfume sample. Not the end of the world, but you know, wasn't, it wasn't really what I was banking on. Sweet, smells pretty. All right, <laughs> I'll use them. <laughs> I always do. Um, oh, but the Joe, jo, the, mm, the Joe Malone is super pretty though. Okay, it's noon, we're all done, we're all cleaned up. Oh, let me show you where I put the, um, Wrap. <laughs> Gift wrap. Normally I don't like to put things under things, but we put her under the couch and she's unobtrusive there. She's just chilling. No one ever uses that space. So uh, we compromise because we live in a small space. Oh, that, ooh, that smells good. Oh, I want to, I want to like make out with myself. Damn. All right, you guys, it's noon. Going to grab a little bit of soup left over from last night and bread. The bread was not a fail, kind of. All right, I'll see you guys in the next video. I love you guys. Having, I hope you're having a great morning, evening, afternoon, wherever you are, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.